Um, actually, we were I watching. Like we were watching the uh, Johnny Cash show. Uh, uh, Walk the line. Was it Walk the line? And all of the beautiful like stages they were on had these gorgeous, like huge. Johnny Cash and the Muppets match all of yeah. the stages. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're live! Welcome. I'm gonna hit share. We're live on Facebook and YouTube. Christmas video or something was it? I was not. Oh, maybe for context. <laughs> Kelly, did you read that text on that video? Let, let us know. Yeah, it was fine. What did it say? Uh, please share. Um, I think that's a message I can get behind. Yeah. The, the still. Of that's the actually one of my favorite videos. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's not flattering, but that's what it's like. What's that? Uh, the still of the the live uh, broadcast is really funny. You so, it not it's I like it. I've had some really bad ones. <laughs> so, uh, welcome. Well, like sometimes, it, like I'm getting my phone out of my back pocket. It looks like I'm like, scratching. But, like, we mere mortals love to hear you complain about how awful it is for you. Okay. To live with that face. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, to the 452nd time we've gotten together. I'm just going to start with the land acknowledgement. The Creator gifted us with this land that we are blessed to care, share and care for together. We acknowledge that the land we gather on, Mokinsis, is the ancestral territory of the Siksikai Sitiki, the Siksikai Gainai, Pigani, and Amskapi Pigani. We acknowledge all the Treaty 7 signatories, including the Sutena people, as well as the Ayarhe Nakoda nations, Bearspaw, Chiniki, and Wesley. This land is also the home of Métis Nation Region 3 and all others who call this place home. So we are spinning the wheel on this 452nd time together. Um, the first piece of inspiration comes to us from the Dark Crystal Bestiary. And if anyone saw my uh, profile picture, I was drawing Mother Agra. Um, I was having so much fun. I love drawing. So um, this is a whole bestiary of all the, the creatures that live in this um, space. That's such a good word. Did that start with Tolkien? I, maybe I'll look into who had the first bestiary. <laughs> we have the Tolkien one here too. <laughs> so the first piece of inspiration are the wind sifters from Thra. Since the Age of Harmony, Wind sifters have been used by Gelfling to deliver written messages. Rich, we were just talking about the message bringers. Written messages from one side of Thra to the other. As a result, the political power of a Gelfling clan is partially dependent on keeping a strong stable of wind sifters. Wind sifters have soft, downy wings and delicate thread like antenna that they use to detect the smallest change in wind direction or atmospheric pressure. Their bodies are round and compact and small, expressive eyes that hint at the creature's intelligence. They also have an impressive wingspan and a remarkable memory for geography and faces. Wind sifters are not only entrusted with important messages, but also play a key role in the appointment of a new Almadra, the mother. Ah, 
I've wrecked this sweater 30 times on this bracelet too. Um, like the the uh, queen figure they have. Carrying the pieces of the ruler's crown to the ceremony. There are many different varieties from the majestically decorated great scarlet wind, great scarlet wind sifter to the unremarkably adorned lowland speckled wind sifter. Many Gelfling have de dedicated their lives to the training and preservation of wind sifters, even introducing new varieties through selective breeding. So that is so nice. Look at this one more time. There's this beautiful watercolor. Kelly, did you send the link to Theo? Pieces? Yep, I did. I'll send it again. Sorry to interrupt. No, you didn't. No, no. Where did you get the book? Um, the Dark Crystal, because I like the Dark Crystal. We ordered it online. We got into a phase. Uh, we were watching The Age of Resistance on uh, Netflix, and then we watch it, and we carry this book everywhere with us, because Felix has the game Dark Crystal, yeah, Age of Resistance. Yeah, because he will turn on the show, and he's like, where's the book? <laughs> Yeah, I like the dark crystal, just how they made everything and everything. It's so beautiful. There's Ryan. Hi, look, I have I have rocks. Rocks. I just have a bunch of rocks. That's all. That's so nice. I was wearing my garnet today. Ryan, can you go last Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Look at this rainbow one. Oh, that's a beautiful rainbow rock. Yeah, it's not really rainbow in nature, but they dyed it and so it's still magic. That's what they Hey, Ryan, I actually sent it to Marlo, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll send it to them, too. I'll make sure they get it. Thank you, Kelly. Okay. Appreciate it. Always. Every week on the dot. Sorry, I'm just reading all of these. And, there's and also, look at this rock. It looks like a caramel cube. Oh, it does. Well, I, might, I might need to refresh you, Ryan, when you go back to people if you can do that. Okay. Third piece of ins no. What am I on? Second piece? Yeah. Second piece of inspiration by Shel Silverstein. Hug a war. I will not play at tug a war. I'd rather play a hug a war where everyone hugs instead of tugs, where everyone giggles and rolls on the rug, where everyone kisses and everyone grins, and everyone cuddles and everyone grins. And then we all sit. <laughs> The last one comes to my very beat up book from Margaret Atwood, Morning in the Burnt House. Oh, this is good. Helen of Troy does counter dancing. The world is full of women who'd tell me I should be ashamed of myself if they had the chance. Quit dancing, get some self respect in a day job. Right, and minimum wage and varicose veins just standing in one place for eight hours behind a glass counter bundled up to the neck instead of naked as a meat sandwich? Selling gloves or something? Instead of what I do sell? You have to have talent to peddle a thing so nebulous and without material form. Exploited, they'd say. Yes, any way you cut it, but I've a choice of how, and I'll take the money. I do give value, like preachers, I sell vision like perfume ads, desire, or it's facsimile, like jokes or war. It's all in the timing. I sell men back their worst suspicions that everything's for sale and piecemeal. They gaze at me and see a chainsaw murder just before it happens, when thigh, ass, ink blot, crevice, tip, nipple are still connected. Such hatred leaps in them, my beery worshippers. That or a bleary hopeless love, seeing the rose, of heads and upturned eyes, exploring, but ready to snap at my ankles. I understand floods and earthquakes and the urge to step on ants. I keep the beat and dance for them because they can. The music smells like foxes, crisp as heated metal, searing the nostrils, or humid as August, hazy and languorous as a looted city the day after, when all the oh, rape's been done already, and the killing, and the survivors wander around looking for garbage to eat, and there's only bleak exhaustion. Sorry, I picked up a long form. Speaking of which, it's the smiling that tires me out the most. 
This and the pretense that I can't hear them. And I can't, because after all, I'm a foreigner to them. Hi, Galen. The speech. Can you guys put the red stripe across the door and then keep the door locked? The speech here is all warty gutturals, obvious as a slab of ham. But I come from the province of the gods, where meanings are lilting and oblique. I don't let them on to everyone, but lean close and I'll whisper. Hmm. My mother was raped by a holy swan. You believe that? You could take me out to dinner. That's what we tell all the husbands. There sure are a lot of dangerous birds around. There's like three more pages, so I'll just stop there. Uh, uh, Atwood. Right. I thought it was Well, Shel, uh, this is probably my favorite book. It has all the paint on it because I, I have it by me all the time. What There's a uh, uh, morning in the bird house. Ava Gardner reincarnated as a magnolia. This is probably my favorite Atwood book. There's also Half Hanged Mary, and it's um an hour by hour uh, retelling of this woman who was hung and lost consciousness, but like recounts like the cognition of like being hung and then not dying and then being let free. Yeah, I hate when they have <laughs> it's like this is my favorite. I like, a, my favorite I like a good pitchfork in the chest. <laughs> Well, it's like I take a, I take a uh, one of those, what do they call it? The torch in the face or a pitchfork in the chest. What is the book called again? A good beheading is, is yeah. I'm sure it's okay with that. The burning of the house. The uh, morning in the burning house. Yeah. It's like morning. I'm just going to read it just a bit later. Yeah, of course. You can borrow it if you want. Hi. Hi. So with us, that green wall is Rich going to be painting, and then Kelly's here with us with her teddy bears. Um, we got Theo working, and then Ryan's waving. Yes, Ryan, just, uh, Ryan. landscape, Ryan. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> it's okay. It, it's you. actually super easy for me to do it, and I just forget, so never feel bad reminding me. Thank you so much. One second. Thank you. It's changing. Just give it a second. <laughs> All right. There we go. Actually, Rich. Oh, it's back. back. Oh my god. Goes really well with um. Hey, Rich, your painting goes really well with that. So Rich painted this this week, and it looks so like it really changes in the black light. So this one um is by Rich T. Wu. It's super saucy. Super saucy. <laughs> so uh, for people joining us, I'm uh, going to be putting up the uh, artwork up on the event page. So the event is Rumble 452. And uh, under discussion, all of the pieces will be there. And so you can kind of look through that, peruse as you uh, relax watching the stuff. What's your opening bid, Rich, for your dancer? For what? For your dancing lady. Uh, six bucks. Six dollars a two. Or dollar bill. Oh, yeah. I bet the joke over his side. So this is by 
Sandra Heavens. So this is felted. Um, abstract. Wool felting. Yeah. Opening bid is twenty dollars for this lovely piece. So it comes with a protective shell. Um, I really love the landscape, the landscape aspect of it. So this is my Sandra Heavens. Opening twenty dollars for this piece. That takes a really good picture. Take it out of the plastic so you can see it. So this is a watercolor matted. <laughs> oh, little glasses. Ten dollars opening bid for this watercolor. Her name's Wally. <laughs> So by Sandra Evans. That's not how you say that. And watercolor. Opening bit. Ten dollars. Um, were these two dollars each? These little ones by Jacob. There's a series of these small abstracts by Jacob Bay. So they're two dollars each. So I'm going to take one picture with all of them in the picture. They're really uh, multimedia, almost like encaustic, like uh, wax, uh, watercolor, ink, pencil, maybe even a uh, collage. So I will put. Oh, life. Put all of these in one picture so these people can look at two dollars for each of them. Why? What's Sorry. Oh, that's okay. Are you talking to your cat? Yeah, can you hear her? I can hear you. It's so cute. Right? Oh, the cat is going, wee, wee. And I'm like, what's wrong? Oh, so, yeah. <laughs> that is cute. My parents' dog is getting older. She just sits there, like, crying. <laughs> Look, how can I help you? Yeah, they sort of get old and just start to make a noise when they, whenever they want. Just, like, maybe they're deaf and they don't realize they're even doing it. Or, like... <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hey Ryan, my cat's 15 and a half, so he whines all the time. Ryan. Yeah, yeah, cat. Poor, poor baby, 15. Yep, 15 and a half. My mom's cat lived to be 25, so you might still have like 10 years. 25 years old? Jesus Christ, that's an old cat. Yeah, it was right. I like he was 24. That's as old as me. 
That cat is 25 years. That's a quarter century old. That's an old cat. Holy crap. Sorry, everybody. I just, that excites me. Also, I just noticed that Live Art Rumble House is now beads. And I really appreciate that effort of changing things up. It's not easy. <laughs> You're so sweet. Rich, I think, just, did you just do that? I was reading the name Beading. He was at, that's actually an image of his beads that he made, right? Of his what? The, he actually, that's a, a bead. He actually made those beads today. Oh, what? I appreciate <laughs> that effort like tenfold more. Oh my God. Rich Teru always doing the most. Also, Jess, I started to tell people that February 24th is watercolor with Jess Day. Oh, sorry, like beaded it. Sorry. Oh. And Stephen already put this up on. Uh, uh, Stephen, yeah, Stephen yeah. already put this up on the event page. So this is oil and mixed media, I think. Or is it all oil? What is it? This is so interesting. Look at it. What is real? Yeah. Good call. And I didn't look, but maybe Stephen even put the information on it because he did throw up the uh, image already. So I have to look. But the, uh, I really like the central image is so in control. And then that, like, there's that um, really nice shadow cast, like this floating photograph over this chaos, which is pretty interesting. Did he give an opening bid? Uh, he said he did. Should we go to 30 to start? Well, on canvas. Well, on canvas? Okay. Yeah. So should we say 30 to start? 30 to start for this piece. <laughs> I was, I was thinking 30 before I need the material. So. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah, crystals on it. People were kept in it for the chance to crystal. It's crazy for the chance to crystal. With a smiley face. Hello, it's a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So these photos are by Wes Rath. Got some beautiful cars. Thunderbird. Hi, I'm curious of a, a question. Yeah. Um, I want to know the Chelsea origin story. Where did we meet Chelsea and how did she get here? I've always been curious because I just, I was hanging out with Marlo the other day and I found out that Marlo met Chelsea like two weeks before meeting me and I thought they were like besties. So like, I need the Chelsea origin story. Chelsea, come here. Chelsea, well, my parents met when they were 15 <laughs> and they fell madly in love. Uh, on here? Where? Oh, well, hello. I'm so happy to see you. What's my origin story? I worked at a little art gallery called the Leighton Art Center. And we had uh, the lady who worked there, whose name was Lindsay Corbett. She still works there. She told me about Rumble House and she was like, it's this great place and you go and you buy art. And I was like, yeah, yeah, maybe I'll go, maybe I'll go. And then I dropped in and kept bringing my kids and bringing my kids. And then I've been hanging out for like four or five years. And then just over lockdown, 
I found that it was my Wednesday night to feel like I was getting out of the house and doing stuff. So I, okay, would, I love that. I would tune in every Wednesday and buy way too much art. And then when I knew Rich and Jess were going live, I was like, hmm, like back in person. Like they need some help. So I just said, can I come help? And they said, yeah. And now I'm here all the time. I love that. Thank you for the origin story. I was so curious. And now I know. Now I can put the, the voice to the face. <laughs> yes, I was there. I think I said hi to you. I feel like me and Chelsea must have met in person then, because I've been going to Rumble House for about four or five years as well. Yeah, so we must have met back when I was shy and wouldn't say hello to anybody. Probably. And I used to come mostly in the summers and during spring break or Christmas break, because it's late for my kids, right? Oh, yeah. We must have just not crossed paths then. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we did then. Yeah. Yay! Rumble Yay! <laughs> That was cute. Um, I remember actually when I went to the late night one, it was In good company. <laughs> um, Chelsea, would you mind? Uh, not right. You don't have to do it right now. But um, I forgot. My aunt got two pieces by Wes, this little one, and she paid forty dollars for two of them. So I owe Wes. If you're watching, I owe you twenty dollars. <laughs> it was just not on a Wednesday, so it's been like floating around in my head. Oh, okay. And if I tell you, then it's like something oh, else. Wes, if you're watching, I owe you $20. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, it always comes eventually. I just. Well, the big thing is when we get paid, the money goes out. Yeah. So then. So this I mean, is. People would be surprised how often we don't get paid and we pay anything. Right. We do that more often than not. Because it's like, I just don't want to rock the boat. So it's like, I just paid so and so 200 bucks. But then the buyer back out, what should we do? Like, we're just gonna apply da, 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 da. Business owners ever award. Yeah, I mean, if that's an award, we're up for it. Okay, right. this is by uh, Dylan. So Dylan that. runs that's the Cree cool. Coffee Co. He has a place in Edmonton. Um, and we are lucky enough that he stops by every once in a while. And this is Saskatoon Berry Coffee Light Roast um, from Panama. And so he does the roasting here in um uh, Alberta, so either between Edmonton or Calgary, I'm not sure exactly where he does the roasting. Um, but he does have a place in Edmonton, so that makes sense. So, is it $16 or $20? I can't remember the. I think the size is. Mm -hmm. Right. I think we give him. We give him 20. Okay, that's what it was. So, <laughs> so um, this will do an opening. Of sixteen dollars for the coffee. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. I don't think you should run coffee from the auction. Oh, just like straight up. Wants coffee, we'll, uh, should we wait till the auction, or should it just be open? Dusty already put a twenty dollars on. It's Dusty's. Oh, that's <laughs> we do. Should we do? We have two more. Should we do those next week and week after? No, later. Oh, later. Okay. So this one's Dusty's for twenty dollars. I'm putting a tag on it right now, Dusty. Putting a ring on it. Thank you. Okay. And another beautiful little thing here. Andrew Farley made this beautiful little container. Um, I, I really, oh, that is, okay, so look at the, look at the top is so beautifully done, um, 
it's so just satisfying. So this is by Andrew Farley. And opening is $20 for this beautiful jug. It comes with a topper, but you don't need to use the topper if you don't want. You need to use a cork if you have a cork or, yeah, it's really gorgeous. The shape is just really satisfying. Glass by Andrew Farley. I'm going to take a picture. Hey, I have a question. What yeah. happens if you send something to the Rumble House address in the mail? Uh, there is a... There's a mailbox, right? Yeah, there's a mailbox just in the cage. Oh, I'm going to send you postcards. Oh, I'm going to send so much stuff in the mail. Okay, awesome. And then I learned recently that if it's a bigger box, it can't fit in the slot. They just put it in the cage, so... Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, nice. Matthias is bringing down some art today. Hey, Matthias. I saw you were mentioning Rumble House on the Instagram, maybe? That's so nice of you. Thank you. You guys are all so supportive. I really love it. Yay! Okay. So, um... so this is by Jacob as well. So he just dropped this one off today. This was also... Um, also in the cage. <laughs> um, so artists, whenever you are dropping off work, uh, feel free to stop by when we're here, um, like Wednesday evening, but you can also, um, if we're not here and you're in a rush, you can leave stuff in the cage just beside the main door. So this is awesome. Jacob painted this one. Opening is $10. Did you know that every day I wear a Rumble House shirt? Because that's all I wear now. Oh, that's awesome. I wear mine to school all the time too, Ryan. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's cute. With like a blazer, so sometimes not, yeah. but it's just like I love them too. I love I love that. So next is a piece by Kelly. That happened after he died. All his little hard work. So glow in the dark, rare bear, and cookie. Day to dead celebration. Hat is removable, and cup is removable. UV reactive and glows in the dark. And the opening is ninety dollars. We were talking about Pookie, the little guy. We were talking about Garfield. Oh, nice! Oliver's coming by too with art. Thank you. That's so nice. What? I'm so excited. Ah, me too. Yeah, so his hat's removable, so you can wear his hat as well if you want to. Oops. Very beautiful. There, they're super soft. There you go. So opening is ninety dollars. Lots of hard work put into this one. Did you think you had chair? Okay. 
Uh, I love painting so much. Rip, Rich, are you slapping the canvas? Rich is currently using charcoal and gesso. Okay, that's good too. But maybe he's like stabbing. The oh, chair. is he doing the weird thing with the stick? Uh, is he using, no, the big boom stick here. What is he doing? <laughs> it's very, it's all very exciting, right? Always it all, it all, it, it, true. Oh, also, like me, if anybody forgot to click the share button, we're about 40 minutes into the uh, the thing, and it'd be a great time for you to click the share button. I think it'd be like peak share button hours right now. Thanks, Ray. Okay. This one, super cool. So this is by David Belfour. And uh, this has a really great hidden uh, UV light experience as well, where it, um, maybe we can just be a secret. And then when you see it in the live auction, we can go that crazy. Um, this one's called They Never Saw It Coming by David Belfour. Opening is $40. Oh, the viewers went up because of the shares, y'all. I'm looking <laughs> at it. I'm looking at the number. Teamwork. Or six, six posters. Theo, we got six of these posters that you dropped off on the beautiful printed paper. And um, we, I think, gave a few away with pictures, but they're so gorgeous. And people were asking about them. And then they, they are still here. So I want, I want to do, should we, um, what do you think? Should we um, do like $2, like just sell them off to people who like want them? Or what would you like to do with these, Theo? Unmute. Can you hear me now? Oh <laughs> yeah, we can. Yay! Okay. Um, they're um, they're actually uh, those are <laughs> um, printed on Fuji First Proof Media, and uh, they're designed actually to be ironed onto or run through a run through a um, 
uh, a heater to put down onto paper uh, whatever the job was going to be printed so you could get a fairly accurate color proof that way fairly cheaply at the time which was 1995 and um, <laughs> it, was about, it was about 15 bucks um, to uh, to uh, for, for consumables to uh, to produce one of these things but by by 2000 inkjet printers have become so good that uh, that <laughs> completely blew the thing out of the water. Um, I used to use one at uh, Quebec Or. We when we bought it brand new, it was fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> I bought I bought a similar setup at an auction in two thousand and one for a hundred bucks. <laughs> talk about talk about. Uh, and because I was still working with uh, with the Quebec Or, I got to buy a, I got to buy all of uh, um, Fuji Canada's first proof materials. It was a it was um, a dye sublimation printer that would do a twelve by eighteen. And uh, I just figure, yeah, it did no sense uh, trying to transfer it. Just uh, you know, put it right down and use the uh, use the the backing media as the uh, as the actual. As the actual image, image media. That's why it's so nice and shiny. <laughs> That's so great. Okay, so hold on, just so I understand you. Um, is this the material that you could actually iron onto paper, or you printed them? You on add, well, you, you you could you could probably do some damage with an iron. It would it, it had to go through. Um, what do you oh. call that in here? Like a like a, a laminator. It had to go through a laminator. Okay, yeah, the, the heating the heating device of a laminator, except that there was no you're not laminating, but you're right. using you're using the heat to transfer it to paper. I suppose you technically could use an iron to, uh, but uh, that's really old media. You know, it, it it doesn't even print quite as well as I'd like it to, but um, you know. That's why I gave them away. So yeah, two bucks a piece. If someone likes them, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Cool. And you could just print like you could just put them in a frame, right? Like you could. Just... Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. yeah, like some of them still have. You know, they basically are showing a bleed area, right? I haven't cut them down. Um, the one behind it looks like it's. Oh yeah, uh, this one, right? The, yeah. Um, like yeah. The, we yeah. can cut them down. We have the big slices here. Yeah. But if you really wanted to, but uh, yeah, you know. So anyway, there we go. Yes. Very. I cool. also have I also have the original of that, that that is based on. If someone would like to buy that, but it will be a heck of a lot more expensive. Yeah, right. The <laughs> and it's quite a bit. It's quite a bit bigger. I can't remember the exact size of the original, but uh, those are all little two-inch squares that uh, that are that were put down in it. So it's, yeah, it's probably 20 by 30, something like that. Cool. Oh man, these are wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna take pictures. So people can see that. So I'm going to go on mute again because uh, my fan is working overdrive. So, hey, where are you? Where are you? There you are. So I know Matthias is on his way with new pieces, but I have this piece here. Love me with all my flaws. This rose coming out of this wine bottle. It's opening $10 for this piece. Yeah, pretty well. I heard my name. No, we're talking about AC Layton. Sorry. It's just from far away. <laughs> Kelly, what's your last name again? Stanford. What's what? Your last name. I can't hear you very well. Last name. Don't know. No, what's your, 
her last name's Stanford. Like can university. You, can you hear me? Okay. I can hear you. Yeah. No. no, my last name is Stanford, like the university. My great great grandfather is the founder. Leland. Leland Stanford. kind of actually cool <laughs> yeah. yeah it's okay yeah <laughs> that's that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah. i wonder if your great grandfather knew alexander Elliott's grandfather because his grandfather was the president of harvard what Oh, there are rakes. <laughs> okay. Here, turn my speaker up so I can hear you now. So here we go. Oh. Rich was saying to Kelly. Still can't hear. It just sounds like he's mumble, mumbling towards the canvas. I'll, I'll repeat. So we, um, Alexander Elliott was um, a friend that we met in California, and. His grandfather was the president of Harvard. And so he, Rich was saying, I wonder if Alexander Elliott's grandpa knew your great grandpa. Oh, so probably. Probably. Right? They probably did. did. Circles. There's like so much. Um, Alexander Elliott wrote a beautiful memoir, and it was just like, so vast of all the people uh like that he was connected to and like you said probably because there's right like so much um yeah yeah around the same age and around yeah so it would have been wonderful all right so this is by stephen strain a beautiful oil on canvas landscape opening is twenty dollars for this lovely piece There's a scary noise in there. What? Um, no. Well, no, not scary, but it sounds like um. Are you telling jokes? No. Are you telling jokes? Yes, Oh, wind being good. It's the wind being ghosty. Fear not. It is just the wind being ghosty. Um, so long as I have people go up in the house and bust like half a well, sometimes we can hear the garbage trucks, but the garbage trucks don't come on Wednesdays. It's so. the banshee. It's the banshee. Also, <laughs> it's the wind. I found Pinocchio scary. When they I turn into Pinocchio donkeys, awesome. <laughs> I can wait, wait, wait to be affected by donkeys. This is also by Stephen Strain. Beautiful oil on canvas. Opening thirty dollars. Whatever you like, grouping, they're all two dollars and they're like prints. They're like prints, yeah. Yeah, like um, yeah.
This is um, an abstract. You don't want to turn into a big baby. Trying to get paid for the That's fair. More so, I'm like disappointed in myself. Like, oh, not this again. So, this is by Andrew Farley. $10 opening bid for this lovely Andrew abstract. Oh, and we got questions about the. Uh, Did you? Yeah, I, 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 we don't have a bid on Wally yet, um, so the opening is ten dollars. So you're more than welcome to bid. Uh, we start the. Wally, that was good. Cute little giraffe. Um, I will find Rich's phone. Oh, it's charging. As long as it's charging. No, it's okay. They they probably heard because they're watching. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, Rich, you should do some more. Um, oh, no, no. Hello? I have to. No, it's more like a. Like a. Not a public thing, I guess, because it's like a project we need to work on on the weekend. It just came oh, into Dr. my. John. Yeah, Dr. John. I just like. Were you just asking about it? No, I just thought that would be good because we could drop off a whole bunch of stuff. Ahead of time. So, Ryan. <clears throat> yeah, what's what up? Are you, what are you painting today? I'm just painting some mini green canvases today, just little ones. Is it part of your circle, your ribbon uh, collection? Actually, yeah, it's pretty much the only thing I paint these days is ribbons. I'm just really enjoying the uh, the ribbon kick. That's really nice because it gives you a chance to get all the values and the different forms and like. Um, I've been, when I was like failing art class in high school, I could, I would not like draw fabric, but now I love, <laughs> sorry, Mr. Chung. Yeah, um, it's good practice. I love it, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Jess. Yes. Did you manage to sell the striped landscape? Right here. I was going to put it's, it still, in. it's still here. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Buy it, people. You're missing out. Buy it. Striped tail sides. This is by Theo. You know, for 35 bucks up in price. You know, if you were buying it from me, you'd be paying 300 Exactly. So we've got inks and acrylic. Pretty good. It's five fifty seven. It's five fifty six. <laughs> it's seven fifty six. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, CEO, what are you working on? Uh, I, I'm working on um, 16 twinches, two by two inch paintings. Oh my so God, I, same. Four strips, four strips with uh, four twinches in each strip. <laughs> oh, I love, I love pieces that are separated between canvases. That's my favorite type to do. Yes, they will eventually get... Uh, well, we'll eventually get finished and scanned and then cut down to two by two inches and um, stuck into mail art. Ooh, yeah, I love mail art. It's all I want to do now. I'm just like, oh, somebody sent me a letter today and they sent it with three stamps. And that means I can peel off all three stamps and use them again. So I'm pretty excited about that. They, they weren't canceled, in other words. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, soak them off and uh, redo them. That's anytime I encounter a stamp that uh, that hasn't been canceled, it gets reused. Even though we're technically not supposed to do that. <laughs> exactly. I oh love having crime to Canada Post. Sorry, I got really excited. I I was um, at the Canada Post place. And Margaret Atwood has a beautiful collection of Margaret Atwood stamps. She does. I, I used one of those stamps. They're so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. So this is a piece by Dirk. I like that it's um, at that angle at the bottom. Of the opening is funny for that. My favorite. Oh, yay. Yeah, actually, uh, that person who wanted that has not contacted me. So put that right back in the auction. Wait, wait in? Kate. Yeah, thank you. I love you for making the Wednesday space, first of all, and also for being you. What else was I going to say it for? It was for being patient with my flighty, oh, somebody wants this. Oh, never mind. They don't want it thing. It's not. You're just being, you're being helpful, and I'm trying to be helpful too. But everything is good. I'm oh, and that's always a popsicle. Always a popsicle. <laughs> yeah, uh, anything I paint anything in red and blue, people say it looks like a popsicle. And so that's why I called it that. I think it also starts at $7. Nice. Well, uh, both of them, Ryan? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. All right. Sorry, I keep going down here to take pictures and you just see the top of my head. I apologize. First one is called. So I jumped from nine people to eleven, and then eleven to nine again. 
<laughs> Y'all, press that share button again. It's not life or death for people are on this feed. It's a life or death for them to get to the next feed. Thank you. Except for the Trying to talk, but is muted. Are you muted? Yeah, we can't hear you. Yeah, we can't hear you. There you go. It does help to uh, undo the uh, button. Yeah, I gotta leave. So, um, till next week. Nice seeing you, Theo. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye. I love that man. Oh, so great. I like Rich's painting right now. Yeah, me too. Okay. Now we got a couple more little little pieces. This is by Karen. It's opening at ten dollars. And this is by Dusty. Dusty dropped off a few pieces, and this is a lovely one. Uh, so a little lefty paint. So this is um, when you're painting left-handed. I love this cactus, San Pedro cactus. Opening ten dollars. Sweet little panel by Dusty. Hey Jess, yeah. The thing that uh, painting that uh, painting, um, is that from the river tool? Uh, no, the one that Rich is working on. We've been yeah. looking at a lot of mythology today. Um, so he does talk about the Minotaur in the river tool. Yeah. Um, so you're totally right there. But um, we've also been like continuing to read into uh, like these. Oh, sorry. So we're just talking about an Egyptian, um, like stick playing game. Are they, are they playing that game? Oh, cool. Okay. So there is it. Who is? Do you want to talk? Of, tell me about who it is or not yet? Cool. I can. I can wait. I'm just watching it. it. Looks really cool from here. Okay. Island of Troy and the Minotaur. Ah. Um, yeah, Amanda, I was thinking that too. So Amanda was saying, I find it cool how you were able to identify your painting by its name so fast, Ryan. I haven't named any of my artworks since I saw Aww. it. Yeah. Thank I you. I named them all very like, like some of them are named stuff like, oh, almost a Pop-Tart, maybe a Pop-Tart. So they're kind of very, I guess, memorable. And thank you for commenting on that. I love that. Some of them look really similar, though. Those are where it gets hard, because some are like, feelings reflected in water one, feelings reflected in water two, feelings reflected in some water, number three. So, it, yeah, I need, a, I need a system. That's
the lovely landscape by Heather Trotter. So this is called The Road to Hana, Maui, Hawaii. What would you drive on the road? And we were talking a nice little electric bike or a bicycle would be really nice. This motorcycle, Jeep. What would you ride down this road? Opening is $35 for this canvas. So look on canvas by Heather Trotter. I love the atmosphere over here. It's really beautiful. again too if Oliver's coming down to bring art um I think they uh bought the red glass rose that's just like in the middle part there right? so that's theirs and then if Matias comes I was thinking um I could even run around but he has boxes of a couple boxes of glass and he can take those because I think he wanted to pick one up because he said oh there's not going to be a hole in the bottom oh, right. and then he could just take those ones do you want me to do that? Should I put a video on? And then I can just head over. Yeah? It's okay. And then, yeah, put a video on. And then just. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Hi, we're Chitty Roo. Uh, we're just, we'd like to invite you to make a one minute video about your process and tell us a little bit about your artwork. Thanks. Hi, I'm Jessica Teru. I'm here at the Rumble House and uh, just talking about my art practice. I, um, I work in watercolor and oil, oil paints and, um, and embroidery and I think no matter what I'm working in, I'm fabric art, I make my own dresses and um, that kind of thing. So I think no matter what material I'm working in, it's always um, a piece of love that I'm trying to put out into the world. So whether it's a tiny little um, embroidery, an inch by an inch, um, or a big six foot canvas, I, I think there's not enough love in this world sometimes and I want to put out as much love as I can and um, inspire other people to uh, do the same. So that's, yeah, that's about it. 
Thank you. I'm Felix, and how I make art is I, when I get a, an idea, I usually draw it, but and, but sometimes when I just want to draw, I can't draw what I want to draw. Well, how do you get from start to finish when you do a drawing? Um, with a Sharpie. You like to use a Sharpie? How does that help? Um, I like Sharpies for some reason. Oh, does it matter what you Sharpie on or just anything? I, I usually Sharpie on paper, but never, I don't like rough paper because it feels weird. On your fingers? So you like gloss paper and Sharpies, and then what do you do? How do you make the art come out? So I just make up characters. They just make them up? They just pop out of your head? Have you ever been stuck? Yeah, sometimes I can't think of a character, and the things that I draw in my, that I see in my head are never actually what they look like when I draw them. Is it frustrating? Yeah. So what do you do to overcome that? Do you just give up, or what do you do? I try again, I guess. You just keep trying? Yeah. Let's get easier or harder? Easier. All right, so how long do you make exactly what's inside your head come out? Um, well, you probably can't ever. Yeah. Do you know what I see inside my head? Mm. Just like, it's like a million TV shows at once. <laughs> I think that's why I like to draw is when I draw, I can make something stay still for a bit. That's one of the things I don't like about drawing. I mean, it stays still. Oh yeah? I wish it went like, whoa, 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 whoa. I believe that too. That was, that was one of my favorite ones. That was, yeah. That was, the, yeah. Great. Like the air after that is just a very nice air. That's a very wholesome air that created. Thank you. Felix has a very, what a way with words. Go hang it to yourself. This abstract. So he was saying that this series is influenced by a, um, a hotel that he was at in Mexico. So the decor, the colors. I think we've had this conversation before. <laughs> it's Mexico. I love the colors. I know, and last we have it. It's on time, your phone. He texted you, Rich. I love you. It's on your phone. Avocado. And we don't fight here at the Rumble House. But I would probably ask you this again because it, it seems to me that I thought it was Mexico and it was something that happened in Mexico. So I don't know if it was Mexico. And then I wondered why you didn't write in Mexico. But I got everything I wrote here up in my head. Although somebody's texting me right now. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, David. I'll look. Like a forearm? Hold on. <laughs> I saw a tweet that did. I don't think you have to take my word on it. You can use anything you want. It's not. Yes, it's it's, okay, but it's not our usual two by There's four. I'm going to hold it up and I'm going to put it by my bodyguard.
It's one regular forearm, one all of Jessica's arms, shoulder, to yeah, half. <laughs> we joke about me being a tyrannosaurus. <laughs> I walk. I I like move them around a lot so you can't see. Okay, hold on. See, like that long. Do you? What do you think? Like not two feet. Two feet. Oh, I love you. You need to know this. Like this is like a job requirement. For my <sighs> then I quit. Oh, it's not to make you look bad. It's just like I don't do numbers. I do like arm lengths and like leg length. So it's a bit longer or taller than it is wide. So maybe it's like 24 by 30. Let's guess that. That's not it. That's not it at all. Okay. It's, it's, about, it's about two feet by three. Okay. Wall studs it's are six. Wait, wait, wait. Wall studs are 16 inches center. Put two screws in. Stud 16 inches apart. Okay, here, wait. These stud holes. <laughs> this is math time. These circled stud holes are 16 inches apart. So then that means it's about more than that. Okay, okay. Woo! <laughs> 24. And then it is a bit. Tall, what do you say it's a bit taller? So maybe 24 by 28? We're going to guess 24 by 28. That took us all like 10 minutes of Jessica reasoning. I know, right? I'm going to put that up on the... I swear there's a... There's a... Page there's a like right from the it's book. It's just, I love you. My concern is I don't want to say that like a very niche podcast. No, I'm just... Okay. I do that too. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Like, it, just for everyone watching, we are not exact. We don't do well, exact. Just let me tell you this: if you're if you're measuring a rush, you would say it's twenty-two by twenty-six, and somebody's going to break. Oh, right. It might be close to 24 by 28. Ish. What's ish. You add ish and it's fine. Who else here has a little mini fan for drying their paintings while they're doing it? I got a heat gun close to a thousand degrees. Heat gun. You got one? Do you got a little mini fan for when you're painting? No? No. We have I'm just so impatient. We have a heat gun that's like a thousand degree heat gun. Oh, okay. That's better. <laughs> I have a fan. Oh, nice. Okay, so it's not just me. That's no, just I have a, one of those bigger ones on the floor. Ooh, nice. I might need one of those because like, I was noticing my tiny fan does not dry a 16 oh, by 20 inch wall panel. <laughs> yeah, Amanda, I have a hair dryer in the art class too. Amanda says she, she has a hair dryer. Must have been love, oh my gosh, we blow fuses all the time. We are not wired for that. <laughs> I have a hair dryer too and a heat gun. Nice. Right? My parents brought me a bunch of coat hangers today. That's nice. Yeah, that's all I have. I don't have a heat gun. I would I would get one though. Coat hangers are good. <laughs> so this is my this is my West Wrap. A little dust on the bottle, it's called. Opening is thirty dollars for this lovely piece. Beautifully framed, beautiful textures. The circle does not come in the room. Yeah, yeah. 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 Matthew or Oliver, yeah, good call. Multiple pieces all at once, especially with watercolor, actually, because then that can dry. I, that's I work in series of like four a lot, and then yeah, all is working.
About 35 minutes. Oh, no. This is also by Let's Wrap. Infinity. Take it off of Vancouver. I watch Practical Magic when I'm sick. <laughs> and I sing Jody Mitchell really loud by myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I We've been we've been like wanting to rewatch a bunch of stuff because just because we've been thinking about a lot of stuff lately. Like, oh, we should watch this again and just see how our perspective has shifted and like how. This movies change so much depending on your perspective and like your outlook on life and it's like I really like these subjects but we've been finding that too like we have a whole list of things we want to keep, watch again yeah, sure. well and the topic is Tuesday and we watch the movie I'm like it's Tuesday night and we're watching the movie yeah. Yeah. I don't know hey Ryan what you could do is if uh, you don't Gonna wait for it to dry. We're gonna another piece at the same time. Like oh, um, I've got six going at once. Yeah, uh, no, I'm already on that. Yeah, I only use the fan when I'm really. If I got four pieces, I have to dry it once. Yeah, and that's what Amanda said. She said if I'm working. On something small, I'll do that. But other than that, I don't have the biggest workspace, right? So it's it all depends on what you got to work with. A tiny corner. <laughs> so the opening bid for Infinity by West Wrath is $40. Beautiful frame job on that. That's what we've been going for. And I think they would be interesting because it would be a very fun film. It depends on your frame of mind because sometimes, like, because the scroll came down from like an old thing or whatever. Like, you have to. You have so, to opening $10 for this like, piece. Opening ten dollars for this. That first piece you put up, you can actually see like an image in it. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. Like it looks like a face and then hair. Red is quite neat. Also opening ten dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we were watching National Series just recently, and it was inspired by a book of comics. It's really not an act, it has a lot of it. Yeah. So, like the open, his opening episode, they um, auction off the merch for his money. Mm -hmm. 
like for a good cause, but. <laughs> Uh, a lady I worked with at the university was a fundraiser, and it was when Mad Men came out. Right. And she was saying she grew up in Toronto and worked in the ad industry in Toronto in her early 20s, and she was hired to be the cigarette girl. And but her official job wasn't to answer a phone, it was to sit on men's lap and light their cigarettes. That's her job. In the 60s, in the 70s, or in the ad. Really, that was her job? She's like, yeah. My mom came here from London in the 60s, and she moved to Canada. She was not in for San Francisco. Well, listen, I'm listening to what was going on, maybe that's for the best. <laughs> maybe she didn't want to be in that bar without somebody. <laughs> Also, my West Wrap. <laughs> to see a world. To see a world you otherwise could not see. The idea of being able to see into new worlds, just looking down further around the corner. Opening is $15 for this lovely framed photo. Oh, uh, Jeff, yeah. would you mind? Showing my piece one more time so I can take a screenshot of it being on Rumble House. Not at all. Your favorite? You guys are the best. This one? Actually, you know uh, yeah, perfect. And have the have your face in there too, so it looks like you're auctioning it off, and you're like, "Oh, I'm Jess." Perfect. Great. <laughs> one second. So, which one you Got the screenshot. The one that made the uh, credits. The credits. Um, one more. One second. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, we use that in the credits, and the girl was in reassembly, but they show her in green, right? Yep. Um, but then probably the, the girl in the green screen that you're remembering is the people that Max herself was in the song and so forth. And uh, the one kind of sketchy thing in my life is I like to think I was just on Kelsey. I don't think I'm that lucky. Shallow is um, my current wife looks a lot like <laughs> that one green lady in the yellow uh, green skin. And that only really becomes a problem if I start asking her if she would consider <laughs> cosplay. <laughs> Which I would never do. What do you think of this I shade of green? I think there's, yeah, worse things like that. <laughs> we're up to 12 people. Yay! 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 That's a good number. 12 is a good number. So, people watching, um, we have the work of art, the works of art that are going to be up for auction up on the event page, uh, Rumble 452 tonight. So we have been doing this for 452 Wednesday evenings. Um, if you are interested in joining us for the auction, uh, take a look through the pieces under the discussion uh, part of the event page on Facebook. So you can just like flip uh, through, uh, if you like us on Facebook, uh, Rumble House Live Art, uh, flip through and you can um, click on the event, Rumble 452, and uh, under discussion, all of the photos are there so you can look through all the pieces it'll be at for auction it sounds like there's a couple people coming down to deliver work um matthias and oliver i think are on their way down to deliver work so we might have more pieces um but at the very least the pieces 
Oh, also, Rich is working on a piece you can see on the screen. So Rich will have another piece in the action. So there might, there will be more pieces, um, but those are the ones that we'll start with. And um, the, we're going to be starting an auction at nine o'clock um, on a new stream. So we uh, we stop the feed in a little bit, and then we'll be uh, then we'll be starting it up again at nine o'clock to uh, to sell work off, which is really amazing um, and fun. Um, I have a question. It's eight thirty, and I was wondering. I was just I gave everybody the rundown of that, like look for the pictures and stuff. There's t uh, nine people. Yeah. So then I think then we have time to set up for the next. Week. Yeah, there's lots of people communicating. What do you mean? Let's just say it okay before we come back. Oh, ask them. Yeah. Who's coming back? So we're all, we're, I don't really understand what question to ask. Is it okay? We're going to turn you it off. Can you ask me a question? Yeah. About turning the stream off? Yes. I was just like, hey, what are you guys talking about? We are going to turn it off and then we will come find us at nine o'clock for the new feed. Okay? Thank you so much. Oh, well, Rich will play a video. Bye. Bye, Kelly. Bye, Ryan. Thank you. Hi. We're going to play a video. Oh, yeah. Good. Don't you talk. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going.